Okay, now onto the bolts. Word of caution, use a use a socket that's that's got a thin wall, that's for your quarter inch ratchet, because there's not enough room in there to stick one for the 3 8 ratchet and you might strip the bolt. So use a smaller socket for the for your quarter inch ratchet. Okay, with all the bolts up, we just pull on this and there it comes. And there's a gasket here, it's a metal gasket for this pump, so yep, there we go. All right, next it's time to remove our, uh, I'm gonna remove the oil pump. Before we do that though, I'm gonna drain the, the oil out of this and remove the oil filter. Get our catch pan here. There we go. Okay, and here's a look at the oil I just uh, got out of the engine. There's no metal shavings or anything for a, for an engine that it's got a rod knock, but uh, they could have always replaced the oil after they got the, they got the knock. Um, these are all air bubbles that you see here. And uh, the oil looks, kind of old so yeah I don't know it's uh, it's hard to say but uh, anyway no signs of uh, metal shavings in this oil oh and if you're wondering yeah I bought the car at an auction that's why I don't know the the, the history of this car and yes I bought it knowing uh, it had a rod knock <laughs> okay next we're gonna remove the oil pump which looks like it's uh, held in place by seven uh, 10 millimeter bolts these uh, these guys right here and uh, the crankshaft sensor is going to come out with it too. Okay, so after I took the bolts out, you know, this was a little harder than the water pump to pull since it's got gasket making material all around it. So I just pulled, uh, pushed, uh, put my uh, pry bar under it and just pulled on a little bit and popped up. There we go. So. I want to be very gentle. Okay. Right. This should come out now. There we go. And here's the inside of your oil pump. There it is. That guy right there. Okay, next I'm going to remove this little plastic piece. Just held in place by these two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, that's all there is at the, in the front of the engine that I could remove. So next I'm just gonna flip it to its side and start removing the lift side, uh, the valve cover gasket, camshaft, and then the cylinder head. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna remove is the valve cover. It's held in by place these five uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, so with our little bolts removed, we got ready to remove our valve cover. Just make sure you don't lose these little grommets that are in here, okay? And it shouldn't take much force. There goes a grommet, by the way. And here's our valve cover gasket. And if you have a leak inside your uh, spark plug, well, well, here's the, the gasket that you'll probably need to replace. Okay, now we're gonna, you know, actually removing this cylinder head is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. I thought I had to remove the cam, but no, it's just gonna be these six bolts that are holding it in and just gonna pop it off. Whenever you're removing a cylinder head, the, the removal of the bolts, the sequence is gonna be the opposite of uh, putting it back in. You know how you put it back in, you go from the center out. Well, when you're uh, loosening it, loosening the bolts, you're gonna go from the, the outside in. So we're gonna do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, okay? Oh, by the way, this requires a 14 millimeter, 4 point, 12 point socket. Yeah, I think I went slightly different than I was said I was gonna go, but the idea is to go from the outside in, okay? Okay, so before I pull off the cylinder head, I think uh, I need to remove this uh, 
the oil dip dipstick tube which is connected to the cylinder head with that 10 millimeter bolt okay should just it's gonna slide out of the oil pan and you just pull it out and don't forget to replace those o-rings before you put it back in okay now we're ready to pull this off and uh, before you pull this off make sure you have a place ready for it to set it down uh, I'm gonna try to rest it off the these, uh, these studs for the, the exhaust manifold you don't want to set it down the same way you're just pulling it off you don't want to scratch the bottom of this obviously okay and there we go you might have to hit it with a rubber mallet I didn't have to do that but just took some wiggling and it's just gonna come off okay and here's a look at our uh, our pistons which look in uh, okay shape. Sometimes when you have a rod knock, you know, you can move the piston, but these look, I mean, they feel solid, so. And our gasket is the multi-layered, is it multi-layered? No, it's a single layered head gasket, which looks in pretty good shape, so. So yeah, I mean, the piston walls seem good. Actually, I don't know if you guys can see, but let me get some light in here. Yeah. You can still see the, the cross marks on them. There's some carbon buildup on top of the pistons, but it's not excessive or anything. And, uh, yeah, so. Yep, so we're going to go do the same thing on the, the next cylinder head. Okay, basically the same thing for the, this side. First, the valve cover. And then the cylinder head. Okay, so with the, the bolts out, I'm just gonna use a little screwdriver to pry this open. There we go. Okay, now the bolts for this side. And same thing here, 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 here. Okay. Okay, same thing for this side. Okay, and here's a look at these pistons on this side. They look pretty much the same as the other one. Some carbon buildup on top of the pistons, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary. No excessive play, nothing. So, you know, we're just probably gonna have to. Well, gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to take off, take the engine apart anyway. But that's when we'll probably find out what the, what the knock was from. Was it a main bearing or a rod bearing? Okay.